so uh you see that they've been like this identity thing it's, it's been like way back mm. it's yeah, just started, like started right now mm. like the devil has like when you read the bible characters they all struggled with their identity christ was attacked concerning his identity we see this in matthew chapter 4 mm. uh, verse 3 to 10 okay. yeah the, uh, the temptation mm. yeah in the wilderness mm. yeah if you are the son of like <laughs> if you are the son of god command that yes. these stones be become bread become bread so the devil knew actually that actually christ mm. was the son of god mm. yeah so like remember when i told you that he at, like he what he attacks is your like he tries to break your confidence mm. yeah and then makes you like feel like eh, but probably i think i think this is on the thing okay. did god really say mm. yeah genesis 3 yes genesis mm. 3 yeah so like time and time again and, and now he has like he keeps on evolving mm. he does the same with thing that, with us yeah with the times yes with the times he like he moves with the times uh, yeah so we need, we need to move with the times <laughs> very yes it's very very innovative like crafty like mm. like remember like how he is for yeah, him is very very cunning craft, and crafty yeah. yeah yeah so um so if the devil so the devil always attacks our identity mm. in christ first because he attacked christ first because that's where the seed is. so that, that that's where the seed is mm. yeah and remember i was telling you that christ is the root mm. yeah Okay. So uh, in Christ that's who we are. Mm. And in Christ that's whose we are. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so so um basically like as Christians as long as you trust in like in God mm. and in his word, mm. yeah, you have your identity protected. Mm. You're secured. Yes, you're secured. Mm. But outside Christ, then you're going to have attacks like of every sort. Mm. Yeah. So um so it like again like Christ is the beginning and mm. is the end and is the root yeah is the chief parenter like you see like this this whole parenting yeah mm. yeah sometimes you're like oh man uh, uh, me i don't think I, I, like how can god parent me how like you know like does, I, yeah. i don't even see him yes no i don't even <laughs> see him i can't feel him i can't yeah, experience him so like they, does he even know how i feel mm. yeah so so <laughs> because you see like in the beginning in the genesis they say like god used to come every cool of the evening mm. in the check garden on, to check on these guys mm. yes and check on them and, and like chill like talk have a conversation um basically a relationship sure. yeah mm. so god parents through relationship mm. if you don't have a relationship with god then you you like it's very very hard mm. for him to like parent you mm. the way he's supposed to like parent you Yeah so when outside god you're going to have other parenting systems yeah like the world. Uh, yes the world uh, your friends uh, the people yeah their opinions what they think yeah what they have heard what they have lived through what they have experienced yeah sure. yes so all those things they shape who you are mm. as a person okay. so so the bible t- t- tells us to train up our children in the way of god mm. yeah so so again i was saying parents like mm. father mother it the, the foundation mm. yeah so because it is the parents who are supposed to mentor their kids into the world of god mm. and they are for shape their identity at the core in at christ. the foundation in christ mm. yeah so um but unfortunately so like it, it's it's uh, <laughs> like i haven't ever wondered why it, it's very very ironic why the uh, pastor's children or like the religious men of god mm. usually are the ones who are, are on the wrong end of things so, uh, yeah yes you I, see it's, it's, so this me this what i okay, what, what do you think like what do you think i, I, I think i think it might be because is um, the the most fruitful bit yeah. is in them because yeah. these are servants of god yeah and they have offsprings that have yeah. the potential to become servants because yeah. it's a um can work through lineage yeah. so he knows that if i build a movement to yeah. one servant yeah it will become more it will become um it will be successful yeah so i need to attack yeah the lineage yeah through the offspring yeah this person might have made it a yeah. pastor yeah but let me attack yeah. the seed yeah the seed that's yeah. what i think yeah that, that, that's valid mm. yeah Uh, but also let me let me bring it in, more in this light mm. you see um 
the the, uh, the, the men of God, mm. yeah, and and this is just not an accusation of like, oh, what, 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 like, yeah. You see, again, I started by saying relationship. Mm. So it is assumed that because I am a pastor's kid, automatically my kids are yeah. going to be <laughs> like like me, mm. or they will understand that this is what you're supposed to do. But you've not gone ahead to actually mentor train the kids them. to train them. Oh, so it takes intentionality. So it takes intentionality. So it's just not like like we said, like God has given us like everything mm. that pertains to life and God in has poured out his love for us. Yeah. Mm. But just because he has poured it out, it takes intentionality to actually go out and receive mm. it. Yeah. Yeah. And experience it. Mm. So it's the same thing here. Actually, I was earlier on sharing yeah. with you the concept of a gift. Yeah. If someone takes the time to look for that gift, yeah. to wrap it up, yeah. and then they give it to you. And then you just look at it. Yes. It is useless. Yes. You will not you want something in yes. there, but you don't really care. Yes. You won't enjoy the benefits of the gift. Oh. Yes. So, so someone has bought you, let's say, um, a watch, mm. or someone has bought you, you know, like, like let's say something that is nice, yeah. Mm. That's that's beneficial, yeah, and it has its advantages, and uh, use it like, uh, and, and, but then like you, for you, like the, the way they wrapped it, mm. you, you get it. You just keep it there. You will never <laughs> admire, yes, admire, ad- admire yes. yes. But now this gift is nice. <laughs> yeah, you it's keep it. Hey, it's even heavy. Mm. But you have to go ahead and be intentional enough to unwrap the gift, mm. remove the covering, and like and open it, it, and then start using it. That's the only way it becomes now mm. um, beneficial and like of advantage to you. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So basically, so so this whole thing, it, it's it's a root issue, and let's, let's just right now dive into why it's a root issue. Mm. Yeah. Because if if we can get people to understand this, mm. yeah, if people just like grasp like this concept, mm. then yeah, identity being a root it, issue. Yes, a root issue, mm. and it being in Christ, mm. then everything will be sorted. All right. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Because uh, you see, people who go out like to drink. Um, people who are looking for all sorts of things, mm-hmm. yeah, they're just looking for God, but in the wrong place. Okay. They just don't know it yet. Because mm. I was also here asking myself. Yeah. Me going to the bar. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I know there is something that is missing. Yeah. I'm trying to forget about something. But yeah. How am I looking for God? Yeah. So, so, so they are trying to uh, look for something that makes them whole. Yeah, mm-hmm. some that satisfies them, mm-hmm. but never satisfies. Okay, so it's a temporary yeah, fix. It's a temporary fix. That, that's why you always you have to go back and again drink again and again because it never satisfies. Okay. Yeah. So all these things that we do, like nothing really, really ever makes you whole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's only God who makes you whole. Yeah. Because He says, "I alone." I, like He formed you. Yeah. In your mother's womb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And He no, He has like He has already like made like. A path for you, like an, uh, like a map for you. Yeah, I know. Right. I alone know the plans that I have for you. Mm. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, mm. to bring you about a future mm. and an expected end. Yeah. So, like in Christ, that that's that's where our being and our identity is. Yeah. So so that's why when you get this Christ mm. thing, yeah, the root, right, the root bit, bit of it, then the fruit, will... then then the fruit like just becomes so easy, and and the world will just. Yeah, so you can't yeah. easily conform to what yeah. the world is saying because your root has been uh, fixed. It's yeah. rooted so deep yeah. in Christ that you can't be actually sure. Yeah, you, you, know, you know how like Matthew, uh, like uh, the, the parable of the seeds. Mm, yeah, how yeah. some seeds grow in thorny um, grounds and uh, right. yeah, mm. rare grounds. And also Jesus tells a, a parable how like the, when you plant the farmer plants and then the devil comes and then like he plants weeds. So mm. the weeds grow with what? Mm. With with uh, the good the good seed. Yeah, so so that's the contamination that that's happening right here. So, um, like Christ, like God has already like done everything, but then the world like brings weeds. There are so so many weeds that come around weeds, and those weeds sometimes we succumb to them and like they shape us, okay. our identity. Mm. 